Good morning. Today is July 24th, and this is our morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I have sunk into the mud of the deep, where there is no foothold. I have entered the waters of the deep, where the flood overwhelms me. I am wearied with crying aloud. My throat is parched. My eyes wasted away with waiting for my God. O oh God, you know my folly. From you my sins are not hidden. May those who hope in you not be ashamed. Because of me, O oh Lord of hosts, may those who seek you not be disgraced. Because of me, O oh God of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. Amen. On that day, the remnant of Israel, the survivors of the house of Jacob, will no longer lean upon the one who struck them, but they will lean upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. A remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob, to the mighty God. Let's take time to reread that. Pray over it and ponder on a word or a phrase that may stay in your heart. Feel free to pause it also. Today is the feast day of St. Charbel of Makola. I will point for you shepherds after my own heart. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember the Holy Covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guard our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Loving God, in Jesus you show us the way from death to life. In hope we pray. O oh God, make haste to help us. Inspire Pope Francis in his efforts to lead us toward a greater concern and love for the poor and the earth. O oh God, make haste to help us. Rise up just and compassionate leaders in the public sector. O oh God, make haste to help us. We join families that have been separated and uphold practices that safeguard the dignity of every person. Oh God, make haste to help us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily blood and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May God's goodness and kindness follow us all the days of our lives. Through Jesus, the Lamb of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and in the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. We just want to thank you for being with us. And this, the last three days, today's day three of our work camp. Um, we hope that you've enjoyed the morning prayers and the divine mercy. Last night we did the um, patriotic Rosary, and uh, we've had some uh, very good programming, and I hope that you'll watch that. If you haven't, they're all on Facebook, 
and you can watch them there. If you don't, uh, are you, if you're not on Facebook, just email me at shre at shcatholicchurch, and I can uh, send you all the videos that we've streamed um, live, and um, all the prayers, everything, the packets are still in the back of the church, and we have um, activity pages also in the back of the church, and those can all be emailed as well. And uh, today we have uh, programming on vocations with Jacob Philippe and Father Stephen Basek. Mm -hmm. And yesterday we had an awesome program on this consecration and devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And um, we posted that on the Facebook page with some links for you to learn more about devotion. And then also activity page to consecrate yourselves and your families to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So we hope we found that you found this to be a spiritual um, activity, a retreat. Um, continue. I mean, you continue to do this on your own. Uh, we put out a lot of resources for you to look at and activities that you can do to continue your spiritual growth in your family. And uh, what else, Jacob? Pray the rosary every day. Pray the rosary every day. We do have the patriotic rosary this Sunday at the Hallisville Brema Stadium at 7 p.m. And the booklets and the rosaries will be provided if you don't um, have your own. And uh, we will continue with our youth group. Uh, this Wednesday night, we're going to have a game night. We haven't decided yet if it's going to be in person or on Zoom. Um, and then the week after that, we'll take a break and then we'll start into a new Bible study on um Oh, I can't remember what it's about now, but it's a good Bible study. It's done by um, the Life Team, and it's on, um, I can't remember. No, well, it's part of being a senior. You forget things. <laughs> <laughs> um, but have a blessed day. Look for the activities that are going to be posted today and uh, participate the best that you can. Oh, also, uh, we do have a contest going on where you can um, earn prizes. We have a subscription to God's, um, to the Word Among Us, or one of those, I guess, and that's not it, but it's not coming to me right now. Um, we also have a patriotic rosary, which is a little bit different. It names each state, and we also have a picture of the Sacred Heart. So we have chances to win those, but you need to post pictures on your social media with the hashtag Domestica Invictus. That means um, our home is undefeated undefeated home and uh, that's that's why we have to pray is because we have things attacking us right now and we need to have a strong household and a strong prayer life and living our lives for the Lord so it's just why this whole retreat is about uh, devoting yourself to, the, to to God so post your pictures um, hashtag it and then also we do have a shirt that's available for the work camp and if you have participated in any capacity let me know what shirt size you need. Just text me, uh, 361-741-8730 with your shirt size, and we will get those shirts for you. Because we did not do a meal um, and each day, so that shirt will now be free to you. So please just let me know that you want a shirt. Um, it says work camp on it, and it has a Sacred Heart of Jesus on the back with Domestica Invictus on it. So it'll be a great reminder to you to continually pray each day. Have a blessed day, and we'll uh, keep praying for you today, and we will uh, post things all throughout the day at noon and at 3, D uh, Divine Mercy at 3, live, streamed on the Facebook page with Jacob this afternoon. All right, have a blessed day. Stop live stream.